Hello, welcome to this brand new video. Today I want to show you how to install B for Artists. This is a, a fork of Blender uh, 2.9 currently. Uh, this is uh, pretty good for beginners, I, I guess. Uh, it's all down to opinion, then again. Uh, some people use start using it instead of Blender back in 2.7 because it was easier. It was way easier. It was much more clearer to, and cleaner as well to use because there weren't as many shortcuts and... Uh, there's a bunch of things that people would prefer as beginners and obviously when you're used to a specific style of a program you tend to stick with it which is understandable I myself started the hard way with Blender 2.7 and I obviously learned painfully slowly <laughs> and um, so I decided to stick with you know Blender 2.8 but Obviously, you are interested in VFR artists, so I'm just going to show you how to download this. The current version is um, a um, the, the fork is off of uh, Blender 2.9 Free Alpha. Uh, but if you don't want this as experimental version, the new, newest one, you can download the uh, current uh, VFR artist version number two instead of 2.7. So you have multiple options while well, going to their home page which is www.beforartists.de and obviously you go to downloads and here you can select either Windows installer if you're wanting to install it directly on your computer or if you want to transfer it with a USB key or whatever reason you can download the zip file which is a few megabytes more. Uh, if you're on Linux you can obviously download Linux and if you're on Mac you know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, uh, just another thing, if you never download Beef Artist before, uh, you have the minimum requirements, which is 4 gigabytes of RAM, a mouse trackpad, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can use a laptop, you just need to use the Alt and uh, the, the trackpad, uh, the um, mouse pad, the, yeah, you know what I mean. You, you have to use Alt as uh, the middle mouse button. It yeah, <laughs> you need a graphics card with OpenGL 3.3 uh, now, it used to be 3.1, and at least 1 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I myself have a graphic card with 2 gigabytes of RAM, so you know, I, I, I manage, it's still good. The recommended is 4 gigabytes of RAM, uh, but if you have like 2 gigabytes, you're good, you'll have no problems whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in my current computer and it's running fine, but I used to have 6 gigabytes of RAM, not even 4. I used to have 4, then 6, and I used to be okay. So honestly, if you have, uh, if you're kind of around these specs, then you should be able to still use Beef Artist, you just won't be able to do enormous project. Anyway, moving on, we're not meant to be talking about that. Once you've downloaded the installer file, which I already have done, you can show it in your folder and you have to obviously click on the installer. You have to give permission, you know what to do. Here you can change your language, I want to put it in English, usually it's English by default but this is on a French computer. And now you can choose your um, directory, usually you probably just want to go next, 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 except I want to put this on my... Uh, secondary hard drive on D. Okay, next, next, create desktop shortcut. Next, install. And now we just wait for it to install. Hopefully, it won't take very long because it's only 139 megabytes, I believe. And once it's done installing, you'll be able to open it up. Now there are quite a few. If you've ever used Blender before. Uh, then you know that it's really powerful, it can do loads of different things, but Beef Artist, uh, it takes all those features that Blender has, except modifies them, makes them more accessible, well, tries to make them more accessible, and uh, easier to use for indie developers, because Blender tries to target professionals, whereas Beef Artist is narrowing it down for indie developers while keeping all the same features. And... Uh, now we have our file installed, we can press finish to launch it and directly we'll see B for Artist in action. Okay, it's loading up. Now, uh, as you can see here in the B for Artist, you have an option 
to select Blender. I don't understand why people would do that, but you can. Okay, <laughs> I believe the entire reason you download the Before Artist is to not use Blender. I don't understand why people will download Before Artist and select the Blender theme, uh, which means all the keyboard shortcuts and all that will be Blender. Uh, that kind of defeats the purpose. But yeah, but I, I mean, if you come for like a Mac, you can transfer your Mac shortcuts. I believe they're obviously different. And you can select your Blender theme, uh, Before Artist theme. I'm just going to go with the default and press next. Okay, as you can see, we have a few changes off the bat, namely the um, different um, what do you call them? These icons on the top here. Uh, I'll see some of them are very recognizable, such as the uh, monkey Susan. And what the hell? I was not expecting that. Okay, I see that this is not 3D Susan, this is 2D Susan, which is obviously a different off the bat that I didn't even know of. Oh my god, okay. How, how do you box select? It's B, I believe, yeah, B, box select. Okay. I totally didn't just download Beef Artist and forgot how to use it. So, now that we have Beef Artist open, we have nothing in scene, the Blender traditions are over, no merging of the default cube, I'm sorry. Uh, to basic navigations are the click here, the um, left mouse click is obviously whatever icon you want, uh, as in selection menu. The middle mouse is to pan around the scene. In Blender, it will be the equivalent of shift and middle mouse. And the right mouse is the actual rotation in the 3D view, in the 3D world. And uh, this is a completely different software, you could say. It's the same, except it's completely different because all the shortcuts and all the uh, access to all the tools are completely different. You have to relearn for it. Well, not relearn if you've used Blender before, but you don't need to. Um... Wait, I have a camera. Oh, the camera's automatically locked to the view. Oh, this is good. Okay, this is actually a pretty damn good. I mean, Blender should probably take example from Beef Artists here, because they've got something really good going. Okay, we can get a view, uh, disable camera to view. How do I get out of here? And why can't I see the... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm having a mental breakdown here. I can't see the camera, and I don't know how to fix it. Oh my god. Oh, hang on. Ah, there. God, I'm so dumb. Here we go. We have our camera things automatically hidden when you open it up. That's weird. Okay, I don't, I don't remember doing that before. And uh, let's just add in a cube. Make it a simple scene just for demonstration purposes. Set the light to something like that and go to the world and set it down. I mean, it's still Blender. It's just different icons and different access to the tools, making it much easier for indie developers and people that first start off and I'd love to have known this software existed when I first started off and okay this is looking good and if we open up the menu you can actually oh this these are different as well okay <laughs> I'm sorry this is um a big shock for me where's our re oh no it will render automatically F12 to it. yeah it's full screen okay Yes, this is Blender B4 Artist, I'm sorry. I um, hope you liked this video, because I definitely did. This is a whole new world for me. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit distracted tonight. Well, yeah. We have a ton of different things that I think I'll go more in detailed, uh, detail in, because this is actually really fascinating. Um, having all these new... I didn't think it would be this good, honestly. Disclaimer, I'm sorry. I, I did it for the lower majority of people, but actually, I believe people should check this out and at least give it a try. I mean, it's surprisingly not working. How do you scale? <laughs> I did it the old-fashioned way. Well, actually, it's kind of new because you didn't have that before. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to wrap this video up here. 
Um, I'm hoping that you learned something, uh, namely how to install Blender. I'm sorry I went on a sort of rampage here, discovering the new existence of life. Uh, but this is where I'm going to end the video, so thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, make some better quality videos in the future because this was really a one-off sort of messy test. Uh, until then, please subscribe if you want more, comment down below if you think you want more, and um, thank you.